Good morning. Welcome to a Friday. Taking a look outside our weather window. Here's a shot of Interstate 15 Fort Hall exit looking north. As you can see, just pretty good travel conditions. The snow that we've gotten this morning hasn't been too deep. Just some light snow falling in through the area, but it is causing when you combine that with the wind a little bit of a winter weather advisory eastern highlands stretching all the way from island park to bear lake county jackson into the tetons we're looking at some more snow this afternoon and winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour so you want to be careful as you're driving 28 right now some light snow in through pocatello 16 mile per hour wind speeds that takes us down to 16 for feels like temperature 27 and some light snow through idaho falls with a 15 mile per hour wind Puts us at 15 for a feels like temperature. 20s in through Afton right now. Driggs 20s, Rexburg 20s, Idaho Falls 20s. We're in the teens through Haley and Arco. 20s from Burley to American Falls, Milad City right now, 24 degrees. But these winds, yeah, moderate winds, sustained winds in the middle, uh, double digits, middle teens. Aberdeen right now, 16 mile per hour winds, a little bit less as we make our way south to the Utah border. Downey with nine mile per hour winds, six mile per hour winds through Driggs. Calm in through Rexburg. And even a little bit of wind affects our feels like temperature. It takes us down to the single digits for Jackson, 10 for Afton, 12 for Driggs, 21 for Rexburg Haley right now in the single digits. Here's a look at our satellite radar tracker with that snow coming in through Pocatello, crossing I-15, pushing now into the east, eastern highlands along I-86 as well. Also, uh, the I-84 south to the Utah border. Uh, be careful driving because we've got that blowing and drifting snow going on right now. Here you can see that system that is coming in right now. South Central Idaho getting hit a little bit of Nevada pushing into Utah so more snow is on the way at least until about noon then things begin to settle down so mostly cloudy skies for much of the day through the Snake River Plain and windy once we're done with the snow about nine o'clock this morning highs today middle 20s upper 20s snow showers continuing in through the highlands in western Wyoming with Island Park hitting a high of 22 same for Jackson 18 for Afton Yellowstone not so much with the snow today just a little breezy in 24 degrees partly cloudy through the central mountains salmon 31 Chalice 27, Mackey 22, and then overnight tonight, we expect mostly clear skies and colder temperatures. Lows dropping down into the single digits for Salmon, Ledor, Mackey, Arco will be below zero for a low tonight through Stanley. 22 for low in Chalice, and then snow showers through the highlands in western Wyoming. Also the cold single digit weather through Jackson, Yellowstone, Drake, Soda Springs, Afton getting down below zero tonight. And then for the Snake River Plain, mostly clear. Upper Valley, we're looking at single digit lows for our lows tonight. Low to middle teens for our lows into the lower valley. Here's a look at our southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Snow continuing into Saturday, probably late Saturday evening for Pocatello, right at the freezing mark for a high. And then we get a little bit of sunshine for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Our next chance of snow comes in on Friday, but we do have some colder air coming in through midweek next week. Blackfoot also with a chance of snow tomorrow. We'll be in the 30s for the next few days, and then it's down into the upper 20s for our daytime highs for the middle part and later part of the week next week. Idaho Falls snow tomorrow. 28 for the high will remain in the 20s for our daytime highs, but those overnight lows getting down to near zero for those lows. Rexburg, chance of snow tomorrow, 29 for the high, 29 for the high on Sunday. A little bit of sunshine for Monday and Tuesday, but colder air coming in, single-digit lows. Teton area, chance of snow Saturday, Monday, and again a week from today with our highs in the middle 20s, those lows below the zero-degree mark. Central Mountains, also a chance of snow tomorrow, Monday, and next Friday.